Suguru Ghetto from Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. So I'm on the landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. We've got a head tilt, right? So his head is not like straight, it's like tilted this way. Okay, so we start with the eyes just along here. He's quite skinny eyes. So we go diagonal up, like that, and then it goes across the top. And then the bottom eyelid just underneath, quite thin, close to the top eyelid line. And we can darken up the top one a little bit. So his iris just inside here, we can just see the sides of it because his eyes are so narrow. And then pupil in the middle, or as centered as you can get it. Okay, we've got a top eyelid line just coming across like so. And then his eyebrows are quite thin, so just like a line ticking across here, and you can darken it up and thicken up the end a bit. Other eye, it might be actually a nose line just here, right? The other eye then, you're about eye width across. So if you measure his eye, it can fit in between both eyes. We're in standard human proportion. They're not like oversized anime eyes. So you go up, cross, like so. And then that bottom eyelid line again, quite thin. that way and then his iris and the pupil in the middle like so people have said that I say like so a lot and it's true I do I don't know why I say it <laughs> but it's like that is that like draw like like so just draw it like so <laughs> make it so and then he's got some lines around his eye. I should put it on a t-shirt or something. Merch, like so. Lines underneath. And then eyelid lines there. I'll just thicken up his eyelid line a little bit more on top here. And then eyebrow ticks across there and just thicken up the front. So bring it down to like there. Nose line just here, bridge of his nose a little bit that way. And his head is tilted back, so his nostrils are like these big sort of arches, right? And they have drawn in kind of like the side of his nose a little bit here. So for his mouth, we have underneath the eyes, right? We've got like this smile. And they do this kind of broken sort of line, right? So smile on the other side. And they don't sort of touch. You leave the sort of the gap there. And there's bottom lip line just there. Chin, square, strong chin. proportions of things eyebrows to the nostrils is about the same as nostrils nearly to the chin so maybe like even above the nostrils because his head is tilted back right normally it's the eyes but it's here right here and here about the same roughly to the bottom of the nose maybe there and there top of the eyebrows 
and then nostrils to the bottom lip line is about the same as bottom lip line to chin so like here is about halfway between here and here roughly speaking okay gives the illusion that his head is tilted back so then jaw comes up the side like that stops about bottom lip level right and then you change direction and go up the side of the face we got a sideburn here and his sideburn here and then his ears come out here now we're below the eye for the ears right so it comes out this way again because his head is tilted back and he's got these big ear lobes right, so he's got like i don't know if you've ever seen those statues of the buddha but it's like these big pierced ears like so and then ear lines inside so just like a letter j sort of thing is a good way to get started and then if you want more lines inside there like so so his hairline then comes up from the sideburn your forehead is about the same size as your nose so like top of his forehead is there and then we add these zigzag lines coming up the side and then we go in towards that center of his forehead like this he's got a big hair spike coming out from about here right comes down across his eye and then down the side here and of course you'll raise anything underneath or color over so his hair is tied back so we just bump everything up and then around can be bumpy you know because when you tie your hair back you'll have bumps and unless it's like heavily gelled or something hair tips I had long hair once, not anymore. Takes too long to wash. I had long hair twice. Once when I was in art college, and then one more time when I was an older guy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> why do you care? Why am I saying this? Anyway, neck muscles going down here and um, collar down this way you got this V this open section okay and then we got like neck muscle lines here and like some they do some extra i guess it's like because it's supposed to be his neck or something there so his shoulders then just come off this way and down a male shoulders is roughly face width so the width of his head or his face not his ears now the face would bring you out to like the tip of that roughly right you can fit another face here like if his head was straight obviously another one there it's rough estimate but male heads male shoulders are like three heads one two three females are like two and a half and then jacket sort of closes that way shoulder lines clothing lines and there is also a button Here and we've got some like 
whole line is going that way. And it's got some extra spiraling stuff on it there. That's it, Suguru Ghetto from Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.